Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Long time no see. Missed you guys. It's good to be back. Um, if you guys haven't noticed, I did get my hair lightened on Friday, so we're looking hey la blonde. Still got the balayage going, but my hairdresser is fantastic, so I'm super, super pleased. Finally, at the blonde that I have always wanted to be, so I'm super happy about that. Anyways, so today's video, as you can see by the title, is going to be using the Spark Collection New Pro Palette. So I picked up two of them, which is the Editorial Palette and the Warm Palette. Ugh, almost dropped them. It's so fucking heavy. They do have another one that they came out with, which is the Cool Palette, but honestly, I'm not really a fan of cool tones, personally for myself, but um, it still is a beautiful palette, just wasn't really um, into it for me, personally, but I'm going to be doing a little review, what I think about the pigment, how I think about the payoff, all that stuff. Anyways, yeah, I'll do a few swatches. I'm not going to swatch all of them because they do have quite a bit of shades in here, but I'll swatch some really pretty ones that I'm sure you guys probably would like to see, so yeah. And then I'm going to be doing a little mini tutorial. I did ask people on Snapchat, if you follow me there, then you would know which um, kind of look you guys wanted to see, whether it be warm or more editorial palette. And it's kind of like a split, so I don't know really what I'm going to do, but maybe I'll incorporate like both palettes into it. I don't know. But either way, if you guys want to see what I think about the new Sephora Collection Pro palettes, then just keep on watching. Okay, so firstly, let's talk about the packaging. Um, they're both pretty much the same, except they are in correspondence to the names of the palette. So this one's editorial, so it has more like that blue, iridescent kind of like duochrome shift to it. And that is the same for the actual coloring on the packaging with a matte black. And then with this one, it is the warm palette, so obviously it's more of like that golden, golden all around the rim. I think it's beautiful. On the back, they have the shades because obviously right here you can't really see what you're getting in the palette but on the back they show you which is kind of cool same thing on this one so they show you all the kind of shades that you're going to be getting in there without you having to open it because it is sealed on both ends this has 28 shades which is crazy the price of these is $85 in Canada so I bought two of them so $85 each which is pretty good because I think that totals like a little more than $2 per shade which is unreal um, two bucks a shadow like are you kidding me that's good but uh, I know $85 seems like a lot but honestly it's a pretty hefty palette um, and once you see them you're gonna be like I need it I need it okay so we're gonna open it up I have opened these up just to show you guys on snapchat but I haven't swatched my own palette yet but it looks like this when it comes out very matte black packaging very sleek looking I love it has the Kind of shift on the front there i think it's so pretty and then it comes with this little like sheet almost of different looks that you can do which is so cool if you're like new to makeup or you're just kind of in a rut and you really don't know what to do but it gives you like all kinds of looks that you can do which are so cool and it tells you like what colors to use so it says like if you want something high contrast you can use these colors grunge look monochromatic look kaleidoscope like these seem kind of so fun so they give you four different looks and it comes in english and french go canada i won't be able to read french but i mean whatever you're gonna get the gold kind of shift on the warm palette and it will still tell you a little bit of information on the back of the palette as well all matte same thing and then this one comes with the exact same thing just like i figured the four different looks so you can do a natural eye look a warm smoky eye a defined smoky eye and dimensional smoky eyes so there are lots of different kind of smokies on here which is so cool oh my god this is so pretty so I'm gonna open the warm one first and I'm getting like Natasha Denona kind of vibes when I open this no I do not own one of her palettes because they're ridiculously expensive they're like 200 something dollars and uh, you get less shades than this so think about that when you're purchasing this but anyways the first thing I'm happy about the mirror it's a beautiful mirror it's huge I can take this when I'm traveling but like the mirror is gorgeous like I can see every flaw I love it. I love that. Um, and it does come with little shades on this little, um, oh my god. <sighs> I just... Can we take a moment of silence for what I just did to that poor eyeshadow? Oh my god, I just dug this plastic thing in there. I'm 
anyways, this is the palette. Isn't it so beautiful? Like, honestly, it's just stunning. And it has a black in it. So happy about that. Um, okay, let me just... Just take a minute here and just stare at the beauty. Next, I'm going to open the editorial one. I'm not going to do the same thing that I did with this sheet, but same thing. Has the names. I'm not even going to put that anywhere near the eyeshadow, so I'm terrified now. And, yeah. This is what the editorial palette looks like. I think this is so fun. It's so beautiful. has a lot of really pretty neon shades in it. Super excited to try this one out. I don't really have anything like this. Super pumped. So, basically every color in the rainbow is in both of these palettes. So now I'm going to do a couple little swatches and see how I feel. Um, honestly, this yellow just... I'm, I'm swatching this yellow. It feels kind of creamy. Lots of kickback though. Like lots. Um, but that's nice. You can see like on my finger it picks up a decent amount of product. I'm going to swatch the gold right underneath it. So that one right there, I'm going to swatch the burgundy shade, shimmer, oh shoot, these are really nice, these two. I'm going to swatch, it's like lighter shimmer, it's really pretty like light gold, and let's try that for now. So I swatched one matte, and then the rest shimmers, and I'm just going to like swatch them, let me get this stupid hair last I'm just going to like swatch them onto my hand. Ooh, that's nice. This is pretty good pigment for a matte yellow, I'm not going to lie. I'm swatching it at a really weird angle too. I'm just excited to see how it applies on the eye. Next is going to be this gold shade. Oh, wow. That is nice. And the burgundy, which I'm really excited for. Those are, like, stunning. Holy crap. Beauty. Okay, I'm really excited. Okay, next I'm going to swatch some from this palette. Oh, what to do, what to do. Okay, I'm definitely going to do... Oh, they're so pretty, I don't even know. Okay, I'm going to do the one right down here in the center. It just looks so pretty. I'm going to do the one right beside it. So that's duochrome. Reminds me of like Lounge from Urban Decay. I'm going to do this mint one. Okay. And I'm going to do like which? I want to do like a colorful matte one. Let me do like this dark pinky one. Feels kind of chalky, I'm not going to lie. Swatch is really good pigment though. Wow. Okay. Um, I want to swatch a lot more in this palette for you guys to be honest. So let me It's hard swatching them like this, I'm not gonna lie. I can't really tell what's happening. Okay, so there's a lot of pigment still off on my finger from this pink one. So let me see if I just like kind of swatch it back and forth. Okay, it does a really nice job, but definitely still a lot of pigment. Like, see how it's still leaving pigment? So it's very pigmented. I'm hoping it doesn't stain, but all the other ones pretty much are off of my finger. They're more like, they remind me kind of like the Huda Beauty shadows. They're very like, I don't know, but that pink is really pigmented. I think for this, they're very textured shadows, so I feel like I need to play with them with a brush and play with them on my eye, see how they apply and stuff. So let's do, I don't know, this one down here looks really pretty. Let's swatch this one. Okay, that's so buttery, so creamy. <gasps> that shade is beautiful. Okay, let's do um, this like matte corally kind of shade. Definitely fall out. <sighs> Holy crap. A really pretty color. Um, I'm gonna do I think one of these like shimmeries up here. Let's do this one. I think it's called Ice I saw. <sighs> okay that's terrible. It's like falling off of my finger. 
Okay, this doesn't really even look nice at all, actually, that one. Ugh, okay, not impressed by that one. And then I'm going to do, I think, maybe this one right over here. This green. Okay, that's pretty. It's like an olive -y, like, pukey looking green, I know. Okay, I'm going to try and swatch on my hand a little bit differently. Just, like, I'm going to swatch one swipe just like I was doing for you guys there, but... I just need to be able to see what I'm doing because it's like kind of awkward. Okay. Okay, that green, so nice. Whoa. Oh my god, that like flame color one. <sighs> so pretty. Actually, the peach one swatched beautifully. Wow. Still pigment left here. Wow. Okay, yeah, I need to kind of work with this one. Okay, when you work with it, it's really pretty, but what the hell? It really is super textured, this one right here, but I had to go over it a couple of times, but it is really pretty. Super impressed with these three right here. Wow. Gorgeous. Okay, if you guys want to see a full in-depth swatch video, comment down below or something, but there's a lot of eyeshadows to swatch. I wasn't really feeling like swatching, like, that many eyeshadows. Anyways, yeah, so far review on them pretty good pigment payoff um swatches feel pretty good some of them more like neon mattes feel a little bit chalky but other than that like looks pretty good i can't wait to play with it on my eyes so super excited to jump into this eye tutorial i'm gonna probably use some of the warm shades in my crease and stuff and then use some of the colors in here for like a pop just so i can use both of them and kind of give you a review on how i feel about them both but uh yeah Let's jump into this little tutorial. Okay, so I just wanted to zoom you guys in. I'm really glad that this has little strings or else I would look hella nude. Anyways, so I'm going to take the warm palette first. And I'm using one of my favorite brushes. I got this in one of my boxy terms, I think. I have a brand, like, I don't even know. Beau Gashies. I don't even know how to say that, but it's so fluffy. It's, like, perfect for blending in the crease. I'm going to go in with... I'm going to use this little thingy. I'm going to go in with the shades Biscotti and Camel, which are the third and fourth shades in the palette. And I'm going to start with the third one. Okay, so there's a lot of kickback with this palette. So you can see all of the little dust particles that kind of have to be blown off. Just hoping there's no fallout on my eye, like my face. And take this up into the crease okay really nice pigment so far blending beautifully wow okay this is like the perfect transition shade nice okay next i'm going in with that camel shade right beside it so much kickback oh my god wow like i have to literally blow it off every time but so far nothing's falling onto my face which is nice Great pigment again, blending beautifully right off the bat. Loving this. Really, really nice. Wow. I'm going to take the shade Saddle that I totally ruined, this one right here, and I'm just going to... Oh, so much kick. Everything, every color is doing the same thing. Like, all the mattes so far have a lot of fallout in the pan. A lot. But once again, nothing is falling on my face. This shade is gorgeous. Wow. Blending beautiful. Okay, so now I have those shades in there. I'm going to deepen it up a little bit by using the shade right beside it. And that one is the Auburn shade right there. Same thing. So much kickback. Wow, though. Wow, 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 wow. Very, very nice pigmentation on that one. Holy. That was very nice. So far, I'm super impressed with how this palette is blending out on my eyes. Okay, I'm going to take this one right down here, which I believe is called Terracotta. Beautiful name. It's terracotta color. Stunning. And I'm just going to... I'm going to put this on the outer corner 
and then up into the crease as well. Still no fold on my face though. Honestly, I'd rather it be on the pan than on my face, so hey, that's good. Oh, like I, ha I don't have a bad thing to say yet about these and I want it to be critical. There's nothing bad. There's nothing bad. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of a deeper shade see maybe if they're like patchy. Right down underneath that terracotta is cocoa. I'm going to take that one and put that in my outer... Oh my god, I keep fucking up this <sighs> shadow. I'm a hot mess. <sighs> that one had a little less kickback, actually. This one I'm going to take a little bit on the outer corner as well. And then blend that up into my crease. Once I don't really have a lot of product left. Bring it all the way back and forth. Alright, so, so far my opinions on this palette are, it's fantastic. It's phenomenal. I don't have a bad thing to say about this one. Every shade that I used was stunning, blended beautifully, and yeah, that's unreal. Alright. And would it be Aislinn's tutorial if I didn't do some kind of a cut crease? So I'm going to half cut crease this and use um, some of this palettes on there. And obviously to do my cut crease, I'm using my, my infamous Anastasia Concealer in the shade 0.75. And I'm just taking my little angled Morphe brush. This is the S6. And I just like to take a little bit of it and honestly put it in the cap. This is a pretty light shade. I carved my brows out with this too. I am going to be doing an in-depth brow tutorial um, maybe later on this week, I'm thinking. But yeah, so I just take this on my little angled brush and I'm going to just start carving it out in here. So I usually stop about there, and you can see how much it's like opening up my eye. I'm going to take my finger, my ring finger, and I'm just going to start pressing the concealer in like sweeping motions towards the dark shade and then back in to the concealer. I'm just going to start to like blend the two together. You have a little bit on your hand. I always keep like a makeup wipe by me. And then kind of go back in the concealer just a little bit. Just like so. So now you have a little bit more blended and uh, you're ready to go on and pack on your shadow. I am going to do the other eye and then I'll let you guys back up. Okay, so now that we're done with that, I just have to decide which beautiful shade from this palette that I want to go in with. I don't know why, but like this one is calling my name so much. I'm going in on my MAC 242 synthetic brush. I always use this. I'm going to try it without spraying it first and then I'm going to spray it if I need to. There's a lot of fallout coming off of this one. Oh wow. Without even spraying it. Holy. This is insane. Okay, so there is a little bit of fallout from this one. Just a little bit from that shimmer shade, but I bet you if I sprayed my brush, it wouldn't do that. So I'm going to just grab my um, Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. I'm going to spray the brush. That was cold. That was cold. Okay, whoa. Holy... So there still was fallout, but not as much. Very, very little. I'm just going to go back in with the brush that I used to blend my outer corner with nothing else on it and just sweep these two shades together. Let me just take, like, maybe this color right here. 
just want to add a little bit of it in my crease just to give it some depth. Well, that is picking up serious pigment. I don't want a lot. I just want to a little bit in that outer corner just to deepen it. A little bit of like turquoise. Oh, it's pretty. It's applying just a nice like... I like that. I'm going to take this second shade. It's a like shimmery greeny gold kind of. I'm going to pop this on my inner corners. Oh wow, wow. I am going to quickly throw on some eyeliner and lashes and uh, I will be back to tell you my final thoughts. I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty lashes in Sasha and the tattoo liner from Kat Von D, my girl. So I'll be back. Okay guys, so I did my lashes and liner off camera. I love these lashes, but you have no idea. That was so much of a struggle. I forgot that this lash was literally completely destroyed. It's like in three different sections. So I basically had to glue them all together. I need to purchase a new pair of these because they're literally my all-time favorite lashes in the planet. In the planet, on the planet, on the planet. I'm going to give these a 10 out of 10 on the Aislinn scale of perfection. These are amazing, unbelievable. I don't have a bad thing to say other than the kickback issue. They both have mirrors. They both have amazing products inside. The packaging is beautiful. Like, just everything about these are stunning. If you are a makeup lover and you just want to get your hand on the most amazing palettes for your kit, go get these. If you are a freelance artist, go pick these up. I don't know how you're going to live without them. If you're new to makeup, go pick these up. They have everything that you could even ever dream of to start with. They're just unbelievable and I definitely would recommend purchasing these. So yeah, overall my final thoughts are boom, boom, boom. Get them while they hot. Actually, I think the warm one is sold out on Sephora.com and .ca right now. So go to your local Sephora and pick them up because that's the only place you can get them at and they are definitely worth getting. So yeah, overall Hopefully you guys enjoyed this look and this video. If you guys want to see more looks using these palettes, like this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Also click that little notification button so that you get my videos as soon as they pop on your screen. And thank you so much for coming back to my channel. I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.